guys, welcome back to my channel today. Now I've got Molly and I'm going to do some Valentine's designs for each nail. They're all going to be slightly different, so please enjoy and I will meet you back in a minute. Okay. Now I'm going to be doing this nail. I'm going to start with Urban Confetti's base coat. So we do this as a thin layer, we push slightly up and then down. Making sure we cap our edges. Okay, there we cure this for 60 seconds in our LED lamp and 2 minutes in our UV. Okay, now this is cured for 60 seconds. We're going to use this colour by Coco, was Co, and the number, if we can focus right, is 40512. Okay, this is a lovely pink, sheer pink, and it's more likely for manicures. Now you have to bear in mind that this nail is not your typical natural nail colour. So we're going to do two coats of this. Making sure we cap our edge. It's really, really pale. I don't know if anyone can actually see that on camera. It's very, very pale. It's a gorgeous colour. We're going to cure that now for 60 seconds. Okay, that is nice and cured now. We're going to do our second coat so we've got that look, hopefully, displaying on this nail because as you can see this nail is a brown so we don't want to see that really making sure we get the edges okay absolutely gorgeous colour now we're going to cure that now for a further 60 seconds. Okay, now that is all cured and I've just put the light on where on, on the actual camera so you can actually see the sheer satin look. It's gorgeous. So we're now going to use the black and that is six eight seven in the gel polish range it's elite 99 okay now this is inspired by robin moses hopefully i will be able to link her channel and the video that what inspired me to do this because i think it's a really good design and i thought i'd try it okay i'm using the black and as you can see the brush is flat, so it's so good to draw lines. So what I'm going to do is do that, and then do this, and then do that. And then cap the end. Don't worry if it looks a bit silly at the moment. I'll do a second coat and it'll make sense soon. Okay. All we do now is cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, welcome back. I am going to do another coat of this. Again, hopefully not to go out of this line that I've done. So it just makes it more... Um, 
standing out really. That's what we need it to be st stood out a little. Okay. Again, don't worry if you um, make a mistake. We're going to use the black anyway to do a design with. So, there we go. Okay, then cure that again for 60 okay, seconds. Now that is all cured. May not look like anything right now, but we are going to turn this into a gorgeous Valentine nail. Uh, I'm not decided yet what colour. Yes, I am. I'm going to use this. G-D-I. And that's the colour. R05, I think. And then there's another number, 4479. But the camera won't focus very well, so I do apologise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a backing paper from a form. And just dab some on there okay so we've just done that I'm going to use my brush my detailing brush I got from the range it's an actual art brush so it's similar you know we, we are doing art at the end of the day so you don't have to have a specific specific one so hopefully I am positioned sorry going to move you closer if I can okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from there I think it's the position I'm in as well doesn't help. That is rubbish. My actual arm moved. And I'm not having that. See, I make mistakes. And luckily with polish well gel polish you can't rectify your your mistakes okay now we're going to make this side a bit bigger It's being covered and then There is two hearts in there, believe it or not. I'm not happy with this heart, but I'm happy with this one. So again, get your gel residue wipe off solution. If you're not happy with what you've done, remove it straight away before you cure. Okay, I'm gonna leave that side, I think. And see it, I've sort of touched this side as well now. So Q 
cure this as soon as you're happy with it, cure it. 60 seconds guys, okay? Okay, this is cured now and it is, it's not going to move and that's what you want. Now I'm going to try and do a heart down here. Same sort of thing we're doing from like, as, as before. So she does it, she sort of goes like that. Boom. You can see that's a heart. Hopefully you can see that's a heart. It's only a little one and that's what we want. This is not exactly the same as Robin's but it's sort of on the line, same line as hers. Now once you're happy with that, cure it for 60 seconds, 2 minutes in UV. Okay, now that is all cured. Now I'm going to do a second coat of that to make that more prominent. So bear with, sorry if the camera's not focusing properly. Now on your second coat you will find it'll be a lot more prominent. Because this colour anyway has glitter in. And then we're going to do There you go. So if you can actually see that guys, hopefully you can focus. Absolutely beautiful. Going to cure this now for 60 seconds. Now this is cured. We're going to use this silver, which is 58005. Sorry if you can't actually see that. There you go. And it's this brand. Okay, again, we're going to use our paper and just dot a little bit of silver on there. Okay, and I mean it's a little bit. We're going to use our brush again. I've wiped it clean. Um, just do it again just to make sure. This design is very fertile. First, can't even say it. Versatile. Um, you don't need to do it in just gel. You can do it in normal polish. Um, Robin did it in normal polish. I thought I'd try the gel. So all I'm doing is highlighting the hearts out by this colour. So I'm just slowly bringing that colour around. Robin didn't actually do this, I don't think. She put black, but I wanted to do something different. And again, sparkly the better. Okay. The so difficult to do this design trying to make sure that you can see and I can actually do it there we go hopefully you can see it better Okay. 
There we go. We can see our heart. That one is gorgeous. Again, we're going to do the same for the other heart. Hopefully, I can do it without spoiling it. And this is just like a really small heart peeping out from the uh, corner. I like that. What do you think, guys? Now, you can, you've seen me made a few mistakes there, and you've seen me correct them. So it is easy to correct a mistake. Um, gel is a lot more forgiven than anything else, like acrylics and things. If you make a mistake, it is a bit difficult to get it back to the way you wanted it to be. But gel polish you can wipe a normal polish you can just get a bit of um, gel residue wipe off and same with the gel and you can start over so don't be afraid to make the mistakes and now I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds okay now that is all cured as you can see absolutely gorgeous isn't it you can leave it like that and top coat and it's a very simple design or you can carry on a little bit and just make it more elaborate so what I'm going to do I'm going to use my black again which is again 687 I'm going to put that on my little paper I'm going to use a smaller brush this time guys, I think actually, no I'm not, I'm going to use a dotting tool. Here's a dotting tool, I've got a big end and I've got a small end. I will use a small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round this heart with my dotting tool. Like so. You can, I don't like that. Ignore the state of my nails underneath. I've had crisps and things, so they've gone in between my nails. <laughs> I will clean them, so don't judge, okay? I got rid of that by using gel residue wipe off solution so again we'll start again what I was trying to create is some right let's do so if I'm not in shot Okay. And we're going to do the same on this side. It may not look much and people might think, what the heck have you done? You've ruined a perfectly good design. But I'm going to go round that now and make it look like hearts with my brush
don't know which way to go. Again, I'm not happy with. Bear with, I'll be back. I'm just gonna remove that. Okay, all I've done is I've used my black and I've used this and literally just go round where I've done, like so. Just to make it, a, I just wanted the framing, if that makes any sense. So, I've done that, I'm gonna cure this now for 60 seconds. Sorry if you can't sort of, if it's not focusing right, I'm really sorry. I'm using a different camera, so bear okay, with me. Okay guys, now this is all cured. Now I'm going to do some swirls. I will correct that. It's easy to correct. I don't know if that makes it worse. This is what she did. Anyway. I like that one, don't like that one. So when we don't like something, we get rid. Okay, as simple as that. I'm going to put some more black on. I do apologise for the interruptions in my house. Okay. I do apologise. My husband came in and told me his shorts fit. So, now he's laughing at me the fact that he did that so I do apologize guys this is my life so I'm going to try and do another swirl very similar to the one I've just done I'm going to hopefully not make a mess there we go I did it and then we're going to cure this now for another 60 seconds. Now the thing is when you're doing this with gels you are going to be in and out the lamp. If you do it with normal polish you will have to wait till it's dry. So there's pros and cons to each of them. So it's entirely up to you which one you'd like to do. But I prefer the gel because then I know then this is cured. It's dry. Just going to highlight that a little bit more. Okay. Cure. And I'll meet you back. Okay, all cured. Now we're going to top coat. And this is the best bit. Because I think you see the full potential of your design. When that top coat goes on. Again, I'm using Urban Graffiti. Urban Graffiti. I can never say that. It's such a tongue tie. Anyway, again, generous amount capping your ends, making sure your lateral folds are capped as well, without getting it on the skin of course. So here is your finished look. Something very simple. Yes, I made a lot of mistakes, but I corrected them. And that's the name of the game really, isn't it? You do these things and you learn from them and get better. And we can only try our best. So, hope you like this design, guys. Again, it was inspired by Robin Moses. This is a little bit different to hers, and hopefully I can link 
in the description box her channel and the video in question. I will meet you back with another design because we have four more to go. So please like and subscribe and I will meet you back very soon. Bye guys.